Some of you may know, or most of you may know, my name is Nick. I was born and raised in the Bay Area. I went to school here, attended middle school, elementary, high school, and I have always- Me testing- Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. It's more than just hitting record and just uploading it. Right now, I'm currently waiting for my girlfriend to get out of work. She gets out at 6. It's literally 6.01, so I don't doubt that they're staying a little behind. I went through multiple surgeries between the ages of 20 and 22. 23. I forgot when my last surgery was. Had kind of a life-changing uh, surgery. My first one, where I got my whole large intestine taken out, uh, it was a total colectomy. I'm not going to show that here. It sucks to have to go through that. Of course, I'm doing way better now, a thousand times better than I was uh, traditionally. But I hate how I make these vlogs all the time sad. It's not sad. There's no reason to be sad. I'm like the happiest I've ever been, honestly. All right, it is a new day. I just couldn't get everything out I wanted to say yesterday because my girlfriend ended up getting out. I have a plan of what I want to do. I'm trying to upload every Wednesday and Friday for sure because I kind of want to have time to think about what I want to film, film it, edit it, and then post it. So I'm going to try and, you know, keep up with my promise. To be honest, I think I'm, I'm going to try hard because the thing is, is right now I am on unemployment because of my last job. I was working as a pharmacy technician for Rite Aid. Rite Aid, if some of you may know, is a business that's been filing for bankruptcy and all that. And the only reason I got that job was to get my pharmacy technician license. It was honestly the best way to get it without having to go to school. You do the training there, you just do it all online on a computer, which is pretty nice. Especially not having to go to school to get the certificate. I mean, the thing is, is yeah, you work in the environment of being a pharmacy tech, which you gain experience on, which is 100% plus, and you get the certificate, so, and you get paid. Like, it's all, I did everything I could to try to get that certificate. Let's see if I could show a picture of it. Probably right there. That's my certificate. I tried applying to jobs. I have a whole bunch of applications out for hospitals, uh, different companies. Of course, I can apply to a retail position, but retail is just a lot. You do the majority of the work in comparison to like a hospital. In a hospital setting, let's say how we bill, for the pharmacy. There's only one department in the pharmacy and that's you and you have to do the billing, you have to email insurance, you have to figure out how the customer is gonna pay. But in a hospital setting, billing is just a whole different department and they just end up sending the pharmacy information to the billing department. I'm trying to go for hospitals, uh, mainly like Kaiser or Stanford or uh, Washington Hospital. It's kind of a tough job market right now, I would say. It's kind of hard to get into places. I have an application out right now for Kaiser which I'm waiting on. And a couple other places I applied to said no, just because probably my experience, I've only had like six months of experience working in the pharmacy. I'm not trying to go to a job to where I'm gonna quit and then find another pharmacy job. I kind of want to stick with one job if I'm going to get into it. Because I've jumped from job to job my whole life. And you know, I'm trying to settle down, and have a career. I parked over in this area to ensure that I don't have anybody parking near me, but literally there's a, like four cars that just pulled up. Hilarious. Now the main reason why I applied for the position as well is because my girlfriend, she was working at Rite Aid in the same city, but a different location. And I was like, shoot, might as well shoot my shot and try to get into the pharmacy program. I got this new shirt, but it doesn't fit well. I'm used to wearing like a large. But this is like a medium and it fits pretty snug. If, uh, you got it from Ross. So, I mean, that's probably why. But at the same time, it's a, it's a nice shirt. Y'all probably want to see day-to-day -day content and probably just a day in the life of videos. And I'm probably going to keep up to date with day in the life because it's an easy topic. And I like to show what I'm doing in my day. But the thing is, is comfortability and recording is kind of something that I have to build. As long as I know people are watching and you guys are watching... That's what matters. And, you know, last post I got, got a, quite a bit of views. So I'm probably just gonna keep, you know, tagging my Instagram, well, tagging it on my Instagram. Cause I know a lot of people on my Instagram went to high school with me and 
don't know me. But I'm in the car waiting again because my girlfriend is gonna be out at six again and it's currently 5.40. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, happy Father's Day to my dad. If y'all do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff. Let me know what's up down in the comments, like how your day was or how your Father's Day was if you're a dad, you feel me? Because I know there's a lot of dads out here, especially one of my closer friends is a dad of his own. He has two kids. Actually, let me give him a call. The subscriber. Of course, his phone is disconnected. Happy Father's Day, bro. That's all. You at work? But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, like I said, hit a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. You already know what to do. I gotta pick up my girlfriend now. It's time. So yeah. See y'all in the next video. Peace.